My name is Nahid Hussain. I'm from Land Resources Division, SPC. Currently, I'm the team leader for Coconut Industry Development for the Pacific Program. So we're looking at 15 countries, that's 14 Pacific Island countries, including Timor-Leste. It is an important event for us. Firstly, bringing the stakeholders, the key donor partners together to see what is happening around uh, in the Pacific uh, relating to coconuts. And then uh, bringing in the experts, both internationally and regionally, to talk about and share lessons of uh, of coconuts and see how we can actually promote coconuts uh, in uh, in the region. Uh, you, um, the presentation it was very clear from the executive director of international coconut community of the situation we are in currently. While this is the second boom uh, of coconuts uh, following the first boom uh, in 1910 to 1913 regarding copra, uh, this second boom really on coconuts uh, relates to diversification of coconut products. A lot of coconut products are coming in, which also links to the health benefits. But we have a real issue, issue on the production level. The palms that were planted uh, 40 years, uh, 50 years ago are the ones that are currently bearing fruit. And it's pretty much very clear as uh, palms get older, the yields get lesser. Um, so the production level currently is uh, very limited uh, with a high demand. And in order for us to make our mark in the region, we need, seriously need to look at uh, the replanting uh, initiatives. So policy, policy is there to provide guidance to uh, make sure that coconut industry is sustainable. So uh, the project itself, Coconut Industry Development Program, has already drafted a uh, policy guideline that can help the countries to use the document to see the issues that have been identified, the priority gaps that are needed within the region, and they can modify it to look at the national policies and align those uh, issues so that the policies can take, t uh, sorry, tackle those uh, those sort of issues. Uh, moving forward, we also have uh, stakeholders who can talk about the future investment in the coconut sector. You had a guy from IFED, we have ACR who wants to do an integrated program. So from genetic resources conservation, uh, looking at uh, mitigations, pests and diseases, um, uh, sustaining the Pacific Gene Bank, which is in Pacific Island countries, and looking at markets and access to, to our coconut sectors. It is important that public and private sector partnership is a hand so that's why we have a mixed uh, sort of group to ensure this is done. Uh, we cannot sustain the coconut industries just by uh, investing uh, with, the, with the governments, but we need the private sector to come in. They are the body that will sort of uh, promote the sustainability. They are the ones who will continue uh, the, the industry and the heart of the industry do definitely is the farmers. So we need to see that the right value is transferred to the farmers, the multiplica multiplication effect to the farmers in terms of the income generations. So the, the market is there, the demand is there, the supply is less. Uh, basically what the agri-research guy was also saying that when the supply is less we expect more more prices and it will turn out as more prices as we go along. So quality is important, very important. There are some gaps in the value chain itself uh, in the Pacific. We need good technology because there's a lot of, a lot of wo workload. We, uh, we need uh, standards to be implemented such as HACCP, organic. And to do all this uh, we need to basically upgrade ourselves. There are risks uh, which is coming in which are threatening the industry. We have a very fragile industry in the Pacific but we have a lot to go. We have a lot to learn from the Asia and that's why we are trying to build that uh, sort of knowledge sharing between Asia. We have a problem with the pest and disease. One is coconut rhino beetle and we're proud that Samoa is taking a good lead in terms of trying to control and manage it. We now have an incursion in Vanuatu. Uh, eight months ago, identified three months ago, now they are in state of emergency. Uh, there are some symptoms identified in other countries. We are working together, so let's work as a region to combat this pest and disease. Look at how we can sustain uh, the coconut industry. Share the markets among each other in the Pacific region. Uh, promote domestic consumption as well of the health benefits. We don't want to sell all our products overseas while we eat something else. You know, we have to target the NCDs, so we, let's promote a domestic market as well. Uh, and overall, let's let's work together to promote this industry. So, thanks. Yeah.